Hello and welcome to this tutorial. In this tutorial I want to show you how you can create a manual gear change. So then you can switch around the gears by pressing some buttons. So let's start up to put some new input values. So under project settings input, the first part will be gear up. Let's say this will be left shift and the second one will be gear down of course and let's put this to left control. Just for example you can choose whatever you want. So let's open up our car from the last tutorials and we need to create two new variables and this will be gear change. This will be a boolean and the second one will be the gear itself, the gear will be an integer. Great, so compile and save this. The gear is the default value one, so let's keep this. And gear change of course is false. Great, so let's create a new very, uh, function or change gear. So we need an input value, this will be gear add. This will be an integer, compile and save this. So now we can fill up this with some functionality. So first of all, we need our gear here. Let's get it and say in range and this to one and the max to five. Then, oh. then we need a branch here. This will be the condition of course, like that. Then we take our gear change boolean and will be set it. So on true, it will be set to true. Then we take our gear here and say int plus another int. Put this inside here. And then we take our vehicle movement. Of course, we have to go to the vehicle movement and on the mechanical setup, there's transmission setup and automatically automatic transmission. And of course we uncheck this because we want to create a manual gear change. So, so we take our uh, vehicle movement and set, set target gear. And leave this to zero and we say immediately. Um, the strange part about it, if you don't check to see gear change don't work. So um, I think this is just, yeah, hard to explain. So from the vehicle movement set throttle input and put this to zero because I want that the gear change is first of all go to the um, neutral and then put the throttle input to zero because we want that the gear change take 0 0.5 seconds some of this and you will see what I mean. So the last part is we take our gear itself and want to set it at the end of this function here. And then of course we set it to the value that we multiplied here. So this is the whole change gear function here. Let's go back to our event graph and we want to create here in the input values. So gear, so gear up and gear down. And then we call our change gear function on press on both cases, of course. In this case, we want to add plus one and here minus one, of course. Then we need the delay of 0 0.5 seconds. So that's the time that it needed to change the gear. So if you want, you can set it whatever you want, you will see the effect. And then we take our again our vehicle movement and the gear. So from the vehicle movement we say set target gear again on complete. The gear will be of course the gear number hit immediately. And the same thing down here. Like that. And in both cases, of course, we want to set the gear change again back to false. 
rate. So put this a little bit up here. So the last part is we go to our throttle input and we need one other branch here. And from the false condition, we just ask the gear change is true or false. On false, it gets the throttle input. On true, it don't. So because when you change the gear, so the player should not be able to um, hit the throttle input in this in the time that this gear is changing. Great, so that's it. Let's see if it works. So we go to the car, get in. And what I've done, um, as you can see in the left corner, we can see what happens. So in the left corner, you can see the gear. So nothing happened until I press shift. Now it switched the gear. And as you can see, the RPM switching as well. So it looks very realistic for the gear change. Great. So I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. If you have any questions, please let me know and yeah, goodbye.